Scott Sauce County. Um, born in this place here, 1969, over 50 years ago. Um, lived and bred here, Peak Hill, all, uh, most of my life. Met Carol, my wife, back here in um, 87, still with her to this day. We've had five kids together, and um, yeah, and that's and still here right now. <laughs> still living here now, and um, hopefully live here for a bit longer. Uh, let's talk about the centrepiece. That represents you fellas, Alba Geldy. And um, it was hard to find a symbol for, um, a tribal symbol for a big company like Alba Geldy. And, and the only way I can do that is how I done the community. Which, which they're our symbol of a, of a community, small infrastructure. Alba is linking to the communities and they're giving back a lot to the communities. So that, that's why the, the bridges are there. Bridge also represents the four bridges as well, and it also represents closing the gap and building bridges between, for closing them gaps. So there's a lot of a lot of meanings just in that there centerpiece there. And I, as I see in there, I've got the footprints in there as well, and that represents us walking the bridge, closing that bridge together, walking the land together. And I thought that was really important to add those things in as well. And in the centre of those are those footprints. I, I was trying to think of a symbol of our Alba Geldy. It was this back to the community in there. And how they, how the community benefits from their benefit, from what Alba Geldy gives them. And um, so I just thought, Radjurib symbols, got to be true Radjurib symbols there. So my interpretation of the, the gifts and the, and the support you get back to the communities, I interpretate that as, as um, Radjurib symbols in the middle of the footprints, or the black person, white person. Um, there symbolises, you know, white and black, mixing together, closing the gap, reconciliation. So what's, what's in their hands, as well as uh, messy sticks. They might look like boomerang, but they're messy sticks. And in the old days, uh, the way tribes communicated with each other was um, with, uh, with, with tribes from further over, from other tribes, they could be 10 tribes over. We go to the on the Forbes a few years ago, going over this old old bridge, and, the, and um, you know, like lots of memories with these bridges. And then you guys coming in and rejuvenating and building building bridges, and, and another form of reconciliation there. Like just saying that. <laughs> 